So Toriko, the latest chapter has just been released today and it was uh, quite amazing. Um, is it the best? Was it the best chapter ever? No, but I really liked the uh, fight in this chapter. Um, it was versus one of the masters of this island. So this this was not even the king. This was one of the masters. And it's, you know, I said in my earlier reviews that I didn't like this whole idea of the, the four kings teaming up. I more so like that sort of solo thing with Toriko, um, maybe with Komatsu there too. Um, but this chapter sort of reminded me again why I like some of the team building uh, scenes and fighting scenes and uh, sagas and arcs. And uh, it reminded me of when Zebra teamed up with Toriko in the pyramid. And more so it just showed you that, hey, this is a necessary thing. They have to team up, otherwise they can't even beat this master level uh, monkey on this island. So that's that. And I really think that um, it really makes me scared because they got to a point where they had to, I mean, it wasn't a, it wasn't that hard, difficult of victory, but it was seemed pretty difficult. Like they had to put in their best abilities and work together to beat this person. So um, how are they going to beat the monkey king? And again, I really like the whole last panel, last page where it's like the Monkey King didn't even bat an eye at the fight below. He was not concerned at all. And it just shows you how strong the kings are. And at the same time, again, it just confuses you. And obviously the author can make things up as he goes. He can change it whatever way he wants. But logically, and obviously one of the things I critically always want is for the logic to uh, stick with the manga and that I feel like one of the the things that separate the great and good manga authors is that they stick to some sort of logical scheme fairy tale or uh, other manga out there sometimes just sort of it doesn't make logical sense and it the author just did it because he's like oh who cares no one's gonna notice and I noticed this and it's just so blatantly obvious and it's just like doesn't even make any sense and it consistently happens and they do it because they they can. So, uh, you know, one of those things rhetorical is, okay, how is this going to happen? How are they going to beat the Monkey King when um, they never really beat the Horse King Heracles? I mean, Toriko 1v1'd or attempted to 1v1 him and got beaten in one blow of the nostril, of one of his nostrils. So, like, sure, they, they managed to get the fruit air, but it was, like, it was simply a stall and re retrieve and cook process. So, I feel like what he said in this chapter, Toriko, about how I uh, I had already fought one of the uh, eight kings and 10,000 of you cannot even compete. That may be true. And, sure, like, at this point, it's very hard to gauge, you know, quantitatively what their power levels are but you get a general range um and generally i feel like Toriko is just weak i mean he he's he's just too cocky in saying that like sure that may be true but you didn't fight and beat the horse king heracles so again there's a lot to it and honestly i'm very excited perhaps that you know newborn horse will remember the four kings and be great friends and help them and aid them and may perhaps grow up into a strong Horse King Heracles one day. Although it seems like based on Terry, uh, Terry and Kiss's uh, growth rate, that won't happen anytime soon. Uh, more so than that though, um, what else can be said? It's just like, okay, um, that's generally the chapter. And again, the whole Monkey King, I mean the Master Monkey that was uh, placed here. Again, he was just so disgusting. Uh, it seemed like he was just this one big face with all these like blood vessels popping out. It was so disgusting. And then uh, a sort of like King Kong slash zebra monkey came out. It was, you know, somewhat bizarre and disgusting. But again, still kind of cool at the same way. Similar to how uh, Claymore is, I guess you could say. But that's generally it in a nutshell. And I guess you could say... Um, uh, it was a decent chapter. So let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this and what you predict in the future. Um, again, 
uh, it seems like they've made some good progress. They've at least uh, taken the gear out of one of the districts, um, and it's not functioning properly anymore. As always, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.